Hi, I'm Jamie from Follow the Boat and I live on a sailboat with my girlfriend Liz and my cat Millie. We're video bloggers and we document our adventures as we slowly sail around this fascinating planet. We produce fortnightly video diary episodes and publish them on Patreon and then on YouTube. But we also put together random clips that fall outside of our video series. We call these clips FTB Extras and this clip is such a feature. It has a beginning and a middle but it's yet to have an end and that's where you come in. We need your help finding this man to reunite him with this GoPro. Here's how it started. My friend and I were snorkeling in Thailand when I found a GoPro on a selfie stick on the seabed. A small amount of water had got into the housing, but it still had some battery power. The irony of this story is that that friend I was with was games developer American McGee, who earlier this year also found a GoPro. The story went viral when he managed to track down the owner in Spain and send back the GoPro to him. I'm here with American who happens to be anchored literally about 20 meters away. So I thought I'd get him to come over and explain just very quickly your story about the uh, lost and found GoPro. Yeah, so I was out here on uh, spearfishing on one of the reefs nearby and I dove down and there was a GoPro and when I pulled it out of the water um, there was enough evidence the guy had taken pictures and video to uh, track down that he was from Spain, got the attention of the local media, got a million views uh, of the images on Imager, um, got a discussion going on Reddit and uh, eventually found him and with the help of GoPro, the company, we also sent him a new uh, Hero 4 to go with uh, his old one that was returned. So we just have to debunk the naysayers mm. here because I suspect there's probably a few people out there that might be a bit suspicious that here we are again, some months later, in the same country with the same man, and this time I found it. So it, just for the camera, this is a complete coincidence. This is not a wind up, this is not a put on. No, I mean, I think it's really coincidental, um, but uh, we were out you know, in your dinghy, and uh, you just came up and said, I've found a GoPro. Mm. And actually, since I've found the one, I try to keep an eye out for them now because I suspect more people are dropping them in the water uh, than we're aware of. Mm. Okay, well, thanks for coming over, American. Um, let's get back to the story. So if I'm going to reunite this camera with its owner, then I need to do some detective work. The first clue is the condition of the selfie stick. If there's one thing I know something about, it's growth on an object when underwater, since I regularly have to scrape my hull of barnacles. At a guess, I would suggest the camera has been underwater for around a month. Despite this, the camera itself was in pretty good condition, and there was still some battery power. Unfortunately, water had got into the lens and the front display, but the touchscreen was fine and the memory card was in perfect condition. The second thing was to check the timestamp of the files. Unfortunately, with digital cameras, if you don't set the internal clock, it timestamps from January the 1st, 0 hundred hours, and all the images and clips appear to be recorded in January. This didn't make sense since I found the camera in December. Although the Hero 4 came out a year ago, the growth on the housing and the stick didn't look to be one year's worth. Next, I watched every clip to work out where the owner came from. Now, unfortunately, and perhaps strangely for me, who's used to talking in front of camera, there was no talking. There was uh, very little uh, talk at all. There's a moment when one of them calls out to the other whilst riding an elephant. But I can't work out his name. The only consistent conversation recorded is between the owner of the camera and the elephant he's riding. I'm guessing he's speaking Thai to his four-legged friend. There are one or two other moments when a word is uttered, and to me, they sound American. Uh, there were other clues pointing to the fact that these guys are possibly American. The owner is wearing a California Golden Bear baseball cap. This is the nickname for the athletics club of the University of California. The two lads also love pulling the heavy metal sign of the horns, something that I always associate with American lads. And most importantly, these two guys have perfect American teeth. Well, I would notice that, wouldn't I? I'm British. The two lads have clearly traveled quite a bit of Thailand. 
contents on the card are obviously personal, so it's not my right to be publicising his treasured memories, but I have to say there's some great footage on there. There's a hilarious clip of the boys riding round at dangerous speeds in an auto rickshaw that I guess was recorded in Bangkok. And so for the sake of identifying the owner of the GoPro, here are some essential clips and pics to help identify him. <laughs> That's about all I can tell you about the guy. Uh, I think he's American, uh, possibly a postgraduate, um, maybe on a, an extended backpacking trip. Looks to be in his late to mid twenties, um, has perfect teeth, traveled quite a bit of Thailand, and of course he visited Koh Lanta, which is where I found the camera. If you know either of these guys, please get in touch. You can catch us on our Patreon page at www dot patreon.com forward slash follow the boat or you can visit www.followtheboat.com forward slash gopro i'd really like to make this guy's christmas and reunite him with his camera and his memories <laughs>